Hey guys, it's Julia and today we are going to be talking about Doctor Who Series 9 Episodes 5 and 6, The Girl Who Died and The Woman Who Lived. Hey guys, welcome to Who Talk. Getting straight into one of the main parts of this episode was the guest star Maisie Williams, who is more commonly known as Arya Stark from Game of Thrones. So Maisie Williams in episode one played this girl named Ashilda, and as soon as the doctor kind of walks into the Viking village where they live, he sees Ashilda and kind of looks at her like, I've seen you before, like I recognize you but he doesn't know who she is and he knows he's never actually seen her before. There was a lot of speculation on who Maisie Williams was going to play because no one actually believes she's a new character on the show. They believe she is an old character kind of being brought back. Like she could be the doctor's daughter. She could be a younger version of Clara. She could be like, I don't know, like, Jack Harkness. Obviously we have Ashilda and she is a pretty big part of these two episodes, more so in the second episode. At the end of the first episode, she actually dies from using her imagination to stream a giant snake into these viking alien things minds so she saves the town but she dies. The doctor uses this little square thing that he got from Pompeii when he was in the episode Pompeii. They finally brought that back in. They showed why he was in that episode and why he chose that face so to speak. It was to remind him for this moment. I thought they did a really good job of kind of carrying that through and giving us an idea of why he was actually there during that time and why he chose that face. Basically it reincarnates her, it brings her back to life, but it also makes her immortal, which we see the complications of in the second episode where she has been living for 800 years and she's seen so many things live and die. She's had children and seen them die in the Black Plague. She's been in love. She's had that love snatched away from her because of obviously life happening and she's seen all these dark things and it's kind of made her into a whole new person. Both of these episodes were very Game of Thrones-y if that makes sense. There was a lot that reminded me of the show Game of Thrones. Obviously not as much of like the killing and the brutality and the nudity and the incest. Like there was none of that but just kind of the vibe that I was getting off of it, like the Viking village, the way people were dressed, the way people talked, um, the way that Ashilda actually had like a sword and she liked using her sword and I'm like, that's literally Arya Stark. Like, the first episode was very, very lighthearted until the death of Ashilda. Apart from that, it was very funny, it was kind of crazy, kind of very, almost not believable, which made it very light and fantasy-esque, which was kind of nice because we've had some pretty heavy episodes and this one kind of just lightened the mood and I really enjoyed it. Although at times, for me, there were points of it that didn't really match up very well and I didn't feel very connected. Um, it felt as though some of the storyline just was happening too fast and I didn't, wasn't able to kind of follow it. We do see the doctor have a lot of emotional moments in these two episodes, particularly in the first episode, the girl who died right after Shilda has died and he's just sitting there and Clara's like, she saved a village doctor, it's all right, you know? And he's just like, I'm sick of losing people. Um, and he has this look on his face that's just so sad and so sorrowful that you just feel for him. You feel because he's lived for such a long time. Just like Ashilda Mears in the next episode, having lived for such a long time and losing so many people. That's another point of foreshadowing for when Clara leaves because I am 100% convinced Clara's gonna die. 
100% because of all the foreshadowing that's been happening in these episodes. Also at the end of The Woman Who Lived when Clara hugs the doctor from behind and she's like I'm not going anywhere and I was just like mm, girl you are probably going up to heaven or to hell or wherever you go when you die. There's also a lot of speculation that Maisie Williams may, may be playing the new companion on Doctor Who also because she's just immortal and she kind of has that quality about her and she's very adventurous she's smart and she could make a very good contrast to some of the other companions that we've had during New Who. It has been confirmed that Maisie Williams will be back in episode 10, which is the episode that Clara is rumored to leave in. My brother actually put out the idea that he thinks that Clara is going to be killed by Ashilda or Lady Me or whatever you want to call her. Ashilda also has this line and she's like, how many Claras have you lost? And it's just funny because you think back to all the Claras in the Doctor's time stream and how many have died for him and sacrificed themselves for him and you're like he's lost so many Claras. Overall another really good set of episodes. I am loving this season so far. It's very entertaining, very versatile. I loved Maisie Williams as a character. She was very interesting. Um, I think Maisie Williams has a really good face. And that sounds really weird but she has a really good face for acting because she's so she portrays everything so well and like it's just so intricate the way her emotions are and next week we have Zygons and Osgood and all that great stuff so I'm very excited for that anyways I hope you guys are having an amazing day I love you and I will see you guys in my next video bye